What's happening? This is the Tap In Podcast. We are live via Zoom. And I had to tap in with one of my big homies, Mr. Rodney Perry in the building. How y'all doing, sir? What's up, D? How you doing, man? I'm good, man. I'm good. Good to see you, man. Hey, I didn't get a chance to thank you for coming on my live the other day, man. We had a great chat. Man, I'm telling y'all, hey, if y'all haven't been on Rodney Perry's Instagram live, the most entertaining shit on Instagram. His, if y'all haven't followed him, his name is Rodney Perry Live on Instagram. Make sure y'all tap in with his Instagram Lives. The subject matter could be all over the place, but interesting as hell. <laughs> You're right about that. I take that. Yeah, yeah. Um, man. I follow you too, man. I love your show, man. I see you talk to the polygamists. I see you talk to... You had a, you had some, you had some fly shows, though. I appreciate it, man. I be trying to get all over the spectrum. I want to talk to everybody. You know what I mean? So yeah. You be having you be having gangbangers on. <laughs> yeah. Love it. Yeah. Man, right now, how long you been at this comedy, man? Man, you know it's crazy, D man. I was I was talking to the young comics uh the other day and I was like, it's 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 real deal, like 30 some years, man. Man, to be doing years. to be doing anything for thirty years is a blessing, man. Yeah, it's a super yeah, blessing. Man. You know, brother, that had some real life, you know. But my wife been married. My wife and I been married twenty five, and man. so and I was easily doing comedy before that, you know. So yeah, thirty years, man. Let me ask you this: Who would you compare, like basketball players? Who would you compare yourself to in the comedy game to the basketball player? You know what? I'm like a Carmelo Anthony. Okay. Okay. Why Carmelo? I'm, I'm nice. I'm respected. You know, I'm still good. I can still play the game, but I ain't got the ring yet. <laughs> <laughs> you know, okay. Yeah. He may he marry, man respected. You know, LeBron might call him up and say, come to come get some of this. You know, he might get called. You know, he anything can happen. So yeah, I, I I like Mellow, man. I'm, I'm I'll be Mellow for the time being. Okay, you know who I would compare you to? I'm a little. I'm a. I know you went new school, but I'm gonna say you like the Gary Payton. Okay. You like okay. GP? Everybody love GP. GP know everybody. You will find GP from the hood of the hood is the parties all the way to the high end parties <laughs> and be fit and be fitting in with everybody. You got everybody laughing and everything. I was, but, but you G know, you know what it is for me, D and, and no, both of these two guys have that, uh, Melo and Gary Payton, they got respect. And that mattered to me, man. You know, that, that my peers respect me, you know, and, uh, and, and at the end of the day, that's all we're working for. Cause like for, for me, Dante, man, when it's all said and done, I'm all, all, this is all I want out of comedy. When it's all said and done, and they, they talk about who is the best, that my name come up in the conversation. That's all mm. I want. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's all you can ask for. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and you steady you steady working. To this day, you booked every goddamn weekend, and <laughs> you got the you got the best energy on stage. Like it's dope. Yeah. It's dope. Thank you, bro. I, I appreciate it. I, I've been, I love comedy, dude. I, I real deal. Like, it's people that do this and they do it, but they don't love it. I love comedy, dude. And, you know, so when, you know, if I don't go out and tell these jokes, somebody might get choked. <laughs> <laughs> Kids or the wife, huh? When I was up here on that pandemic, I was like, look, I was like, you gotta get out of here. We we can't do this with you. So yeah, it was it was definitely a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Man, so I always I always know like first certain subjects who I want to talk to. Today, I don't know why, but I'm just feeling like you a perfect person to talk to about this. I'm ass man, okay? Okay. <laughs> 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 so women ass. What is it about the ass? Is it the crack? 
or is it the curve that makes a good ass? You know what? That that's and, and I'm gonna be completely serious with this. Uh, it's not the crack because I don't I don't like some ass where the crack be way up and it be too high. But but it's definitely it's definitely the curvature. But I like I like natural too. Like I like them little them little fake booties that be independently shaking on their own. I don't like that. But but um but I'm not gonna ever push out the bed either. So it's like, you know, you just make your, make yourself make it work. But um yeah, I mean, and but if I see a crack, I'm gonna be like, oh, that goes a crack. So I don't know, but um it, it's definitely not not the crack, exactly the crack. And and it it's it gotta be in the right proportion, D. Like I can take a like a small lady with a cute little booty and be like, okay, little booty, you know, or or a gigantic, like I had a friend of mine, her booty was big as this mother. Like she could she could stick this whole laptop and her, her booty would hold it. And uh I, her booty was impressive. It was real? It was real. They weren't even doing fake booties back then. Oh, this is like back in the day you, you're this talking about. Old school booty right here. Do you ever look at like a grandma booty? Grandmas had some ass back in the day. My my grandmother, I look her little her little house coat used to eat a, eat a, eat a, eat a, uh, her booty would eat a house coat, and we would pull it out. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. I. You know what? I'm the kind of guy I don't even like to see the, uh, just a crack of ass. Like I don't like the crack. Like if I if I'm looking at an ass, I would want to see the whole slit versus just the crack. You know what I mean? I they say crack is whack. I want to see the whole slit. I want to see the whole the whole gluteus maximus. Now, 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 now I do like like I like 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 women that like I like women that are covered up, but they ass is crazy. Like some nice jeans. Or like, like I, I, I like a, a bare ass is just okay to me. Like I like when it's it like got some nice stuff covering it. You know what I'm saying? If that make any sense? Mm-hmm. Like I like 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 some flat. Like a jeans is the ultimate ass compliment to me. Over the sundress. Now, what you calling a sundress? Because guys be calling stuff sundress that ain't sundress. Sundress hit the booty and then just float up. Like a sundress, but but ain't nothing like the jeans though. <laughs> okay, okay, it, it's it's hard to tell who's. Well, I, I'm in Dallas. I know you in Atlanta, so you probably see the fake booties all day. Yeah, they they everywhere, they everywhere. And, and and how about this? It's old women with them. Like let me let me tell you something. If you are gonna look up in 15 years, Dante, and people ankles gonna be big. Like why are your ankles so big? Her ass and slid down. <laughs> she got her ass and her ankles now. Yeah, it's coming. Some ank- some ascles. <laughs> hey, I do, I do this. I do this joke. I say, uh, I say, you know, they got real skinny women. Plastic surgery. They got real skinny women with a big old booty. But what they don't do, they don't make her arms no longer. So her booty real big, but she can't get to it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I heard something on, online uh, the other day that made me laugh like a mug. So is it is it transparent? Is it somebody who identifies as a parent but don't got no kids? Or, <laughs> or is it a person who got kids that don't have that has a bunch of kids? I'm gonna tell you what a transparent is. That's when your daddy said he going to get some cigarettes and never come back. <laughs> and nigga, transparent. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh shit, that should make me laugh like this. Is that, is that yours or mine? Is that, who joke is that? Is that yours? No, I think it's a. Uh, it, I heard uh, it was online, so it was somebody's. Somebody I heard online say that shit. I know. I, the our tag was better than the joke, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, you can have it. I don't care. Like I, you can have that. 
Man. I, ain't, I ain't gonna say that shit. <laughs> what else has been going on, Rodney? I seen you did just did the um um uh what is it? Hold on. Don't 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 let me. I, I can tell you. Man. Coming to America too. Now because I wanted yeah. to remember. Yeah. How was that experience, okay, man? So do first of all, Eddie Murphy the reason I do comedy. So to be on the set with this dude and him go, hey, Rodney Perry, how you doing this morning? Like, is this nigga talking to me? Real cool. And how about this, D? He's like regal, like a real king. Like, like he, he was, he was, he, he dropped some jewels a couple of times. And I was like, that ain't no regular nigga advice. That's like a king. He gave advice like a king, you know? And so he, I found him to be really an awesome guy. And um, when I got the word, so I auditioned for a movie called The Quest. The working title of the movie was The Quest. So I go in, audition for The Quest, and you know, just start, you know, you, you just forget about it. You work, you go audition, and you forget about it. And a week or so later, my, my agent said, yo, you booked The Quest. I'm like, okay. He's like, why are you not excited? I'm like, I mean, I'm excited, but you know, okay, when does it work? He said, Roddy, The Quest is coming to America too. D, when I tell you a grown ass man cry like a baby nigga. Really? Me and my wife stood in that kitchen and like really like let one go for a minute. Wow. Yeah, it, it, it was real, man. I got another movie I did with Joe Coy. You remember Joe Coy? Yeah, I know Joe Coy, yeah. I'm doing a movie with Joe Coy. It's already in the can. Uh, hopefully I'm still in it. You know, they'll cut your ass out of the movie, Dante. And so, but I did it. But I, I did a movie with Joe Coy, Joe Coy called Easter Sunday. It should be out of the top of 22. And um, and I'm touring, man. And I just produced a show uh, called Creative Hustle. It's stand-up comedy. It's sketch and it's live performances, man. I, I think it could be the next comic view. Really? Yeah. What network is that coming out on? When is it When is it coming out? We don't have a home for it yet. We, we, we're, we're editing it now. And we, we shot six episodes on our own. We produced it ourselves. So hopefully it, it, it end up someplace cool. Worst case scenario, we'll put it on Amazon. Man, that's dope. So is is stand up, is um sketch, sketch and, and we did live live singers and rappers and shit. Really? Yeah. That's dope, man. That's dope. Yeah, man. How how important is it to like to start creating your own your own, I guess, way, you know what I mean? How important is that? It, it's everything, Dante, man. Like, um, first of all, you're getting older. You're 30-some years old. And you kind of can't wait for people to hire you. Like, you know, in the Bible, it says you are, you will become the, the borrower and not the, you'll become the, the lender and not the borrower. And and so uh, that's one thing. As, as I mature as a talent, I want to become the hirer and not the one that's being hired, you know? And so to do that, you gotta, you gotta produce and create. And so I'm with that. Yeah. And here's the thing that I, that I get frustrated with, with, with the, I guess the fans or the common people, because they'll see Rodney Perry and it's like, Rodney know everybody. Somebody could just give him, give him a opportunity or give him something or put his show anywhere. You know what I mean? What do you say to the people who are like, it, it doesn't happen like that. It's not when my man got a job and he just going to hire me. Right. I mean, don't look at me. Look at your re your regular job, right? You work at the post office, whatever. You don't just become the supervisor because your boy the supervisor. You got to put the work in. And so um, if you waiting for your people, people help you when you don't need it. Mm -hmm. People will help you, but if your ass sitting there thirsty trying to get a cup of water, ain't nobody gonna give you nothing. But if you if you if you stand on your own two feet and you got a show and people are like, yo, Rod, how can I help you? I want to help you take it to the next level. That's when they help. So you gotta you gotta get yourself to a point where your friends can activate. Mm. It's like a video game. Like it's yo know, your people that that can help you don't even activate till you get right up on their ass. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I've I've learned that. I've learned that like 
Um, and just my journey through this whole entertainment thing. How about this, D? And most of them don't have no juice. Like, <laughs> it's cats you think got juice, they can't make a phone call for you. They can't. They don't know how. And so, so like, I, I was telling a young cat last night, we was talking, he's like, man, nobody helped me, you know, and I know everybody. I was like, you don't, you, you think niggas got juice that don't have juice. They don't have no juice. They can't. It, they, I can make a phone call right now and get somebody booked a chocolate Sunday, right in LA. I can make a phone call. That's me, but that's my relationships over the years, and I never send them no garbage, right? So, if you need that, I got you. But I know my juice, and I know when I don't got no juice. Somebody, somebody hit me the other day. They be, you know, Will Packer, man. I want to get something to him. Can't do that. I got no juice with that nigga. <laughs> I got zero juice with that nigga. But he a good dude. He know me. If you get in a circle with him, drop my name, he ain't going to be like, oh, I'll fuck that. He, he going to be like, oh, that, that's my man. Yeah, he cool. He cool, dude. But I ain't got no juice where I can make a phone call to him and be like, yo, hey, hey, Will, book my guy. I can't do that. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Yeah. And, and a lot of people... A lot of people be acting like they got juice that don't really got juice too. You ain't got no juice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They own the show, but they can't get your ass on. I bet that, or they don't want to, because mm. you a threat. And you know, here's something I heard Issa Rae say: like a lot of people be trying to politic with people who are above them. She was like, politic with the people on the same level with you, and then y'all all come up together. Yeah. That that rise is a lot better than you trying to politic up to people who are already in that position. That person don't owe you nothing. Like, me and Joey Wells, right? I remember standing outside the improv on a, on a Monday night. Was it Monday? Yeah. And we just looking, you know, Chris Spencer, Alex Thomas, they was all, you know, they had their click. And me and Joey was like, man, how do we get the click? You know, and what we learned over time is that you don't get in the click. Your people become the click. Mm. You know, you got you got a peer group. You know, you got people you can call. They're they your people, though. They've been your people. Y'all was freshmen together in the game. So, yeah. Yeah. Man. Yeah. And that's dope. I know for, for younger comics, I know it was dope to see you, David Arnold, Chris Spencer, um, and even a little bit of Kevin Hart, like to all see y'all like like a group, like a little click. I know for me it was dope to see. And I was like, man, like I want my click like that. You know what I mean? Where everybody in that mug is just heavy hitters. Yeah. 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 That's fire, man. That's real dope, man. So what else, are you working with? Um, are you still working with Tyler Perry or was... I mean, I did a, I did a film with him. I mean, but you know, I mean, I, I ain't got the nigga number. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't got no juice. Dude. I ain't got no juice. <laughs> but, but it is no doubt in my mind that I'm gonna work with him again, though. Oh, okay. I just don't know when. Yeah, yeah. Divine time. Okay. So, if people wanted to do get on your show, are you are you accepting auditions for your show? What we're, what we're doing, we shot everything in Chicago this last one, so we're going to be going to other cities. You in Dallas, we're going to go to Houston, we're going to go to Atlanta, and so we're going to do six episodes in each city. And so, we, but we, we, you know, we did, we did it all with our own money this time, so hopefully we get some money to go go to the other cities. Uh, okay, so no no accepting auditions or anything like that right now? Not, not just yet, no. Okay. Okay, bet, man. Yeah, man, well, I appreciate you, Rodney, for tapping in with me, man. Tap in, tap, tap, tap in. That's right. <laughs> man, leave all your, um, your info, man, so people get a hold of you. Um, where you where you at this weekend? I'm at the Atlanta Comedy Theater here in Atlanta this weekend. Uh, uh super excited about that. Always a great club to play. And um, and I, I get to be at home, you know, I get to sleep in my own bed, which is a good deal. And um, and I'm always working, man. I'm at Rodney Perry Live. If you wanna if you wanna tap in with me, holler at your boy. It's me. I do my social media myself, and uh, and we just building a brand, man. 
That's what's up, man. That's what's up. How Ryan doing, man? I seen Ryan on TV talking to mannequins and and, and dummies and shit. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man, my brother, man. First of all, the funniest feature I ever worked with, you know, he, he, he you know, and he built his own thing. He's out in Denver, and, man, he's slanging them jokes, man. He's still slanging the jokes. And Denver is a little weird community. You know, because it's real, it's, it's it's real super mainstream, you know, white. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, it ain't like what we was at in L.A. or it, even Dallas now. It, it ain't like that. It's different. But he he's, he's making his own way. He's doing a lot of the acting up there and stuff, too. And so I'm, I'm proud of him, man. He's a funny guy. Yeah, yeah. That's what's up, man. Yo, man, I appreciate y'all tapping in, man. This has been the Tap In Podcast. I appreciate you, Rodney Perry. Good seeing you, boy. Tap in, baby. Thank you, D. I appreciate you, brother. For sure. Thank you for tapping in with us. In order to see more clips like this, check out this video here or check out this one here.